Welcome back to another video. If you're new here, my name's Amanda. Welcome. If you've been here for a while, then welcome back. I'm so glad to have each and every one of you here. I hope you're having a fantastic and blessed day. So today I thought I'd share some what's for dinner and this is all like a soup stew recipes. Um, I share a um, chicken alfredo crock pot with some potatoes and veggies. And then I share some Italian chicken and potatoes that Carol sent me, which was really good. It's a um, one one pot meal on the stove top. I made some keto pizza soup in the crock pot. And I also made some cheesy potato and broccoli soup. And every single one of these were really good. Um, they all got eight. What we had for leftovers were eight for lunch the next day. But... Definitely, if you have not tried them, give, give them a try and let me know what you think. I thank you so much for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you. So, I will quit rambling and we will get to making these meals. Um, I, I love hearing from you guys. So, you know, drop down and say hi in the comments and let me know if you've ever made these before. Like I said, I'd love to hear what you think or if you make them, let me know. Um, yeah. Thank you so much for being here, and this time, I mean it. I'll put the music on, and we'll get to making these uh, soups and stews. So y'all, this first recipe is creamy chicken stew, and really it calls for boneless, skinless uh, thighs cut into strips, but I had boneless, skinless tender, so we went with it. A jar of garlic alfredo sauce with Parmesan cheese, um, whole white potatoes or you could have got a pound of the baby red potatoes and quartered them um, two cups of frozen mixed vegetables water onion and garlic seasoning and dried basil which I didn't have the basil or the onion seasoning but this turned out really good um, it was to me it was good it was really good um, I didn't know if it would be like a thick with it saying stew but it was um, it was really delicious. We all enjoyed it. So y'all, I want to share the devotional from a Little God Times devotional journal that's linked in the description. And the title of today's devotion is The Spice Rack. And I felt like it was fitting since it's a What's for Dinner video. But it reads, Anyone who does any amount of cooking has a spice rack. That one place where all seasonings are kept within the reach of the stovetop. There are some spices that are used consistently, garlic, salt, and pepper. And there are other spices that may only be used once in a while. Cardamom, tarragon, anise. While those lesser used spices may collect dust in the back of our spice cupboards, we still rely on them to bring out just the right flavor in one particular meal. Life is a lot like a spice rack. We shelve our experiences like spices. Some makes so much more sense, like salt and pepper. We pull from them often, clearly recognizing their usefulness. Other experiences are more subtle and undeclared. Sometimes we go years, never understanding why we had them. But then, in one moment, our life recipe will call for a little chaffron. And all at once, it will make so much sense, that experience we had, the one we thought we must have had by mistake, will be the only one that matters for that moment. And we know that all things work together for good to them that love God, to them who are called according to His purpose. Romans 8, 28. Is there a season in your life that you often wonder about? You might look at the time and only see failure or waste. When you can't see, when you can't make sense of why it happened, remember that God will work it all for His good because you love Him. And I was blessed by that devotional, and I hope you were too. It was just perfect um, for this video. We may not understand everything right then, but we'll understand um, one day, and that's a blessing. I'm walking down the street on clouds instead of the concrete. I'm dancing through. Everything's about to come my way. Nothing can ruin my day. No matter what anyone does or say, I smile at fools. No, I don't care because I am on my way up. And I won't stop. I won't slow down. Steady on my feet. See, I want to share. This is a recipe for keto pizza soup. So, it calls for... 
crushed tomatoes, beef broth, mushrooms, green pepper, onion, Italian sausage, pepperoni, garlic powder, dried oregano, Italian seasoning, mozzarella, and Parmesan cheese. As you'll, you'll see, I've got my ingredients out and we're just gonna use some Swaggerty sausage. We don't mind that, we like it. I've got my beef broth, my crushed tomatoes. Now it calls for double the amount of mushrooms, but we're just gonna stick um, to half of that right now. We've got our pepperoni, our Parmesan and mozzarella. Now we're not real big fans of a lot of Italian seasoning um, or their oregano. So we're just gonna omit, omit that. But what I'll do is I will brown up my sausage and then all this except for the cheese goes into the crock pot on low for six to eight hours. And then you will serve it up and add the cheese um, to the bowls. So I will set you guys up and I'll start browning my sausage. Oh, I won't stop. It is my time. Cause I know what it's like to be broke, yeah. I know what it's like when nothing goes your way. So I'm gonna let myself enjoy the fruit from this lucky day. Yeah, I am on my way. I won't slow down. <laughs> yeah, I am on my way up. I won't slow down. Da -da 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 y'all for tonight we're gonna have the one pan italian chicken and potatoes recipe that um my sweet friend carol sent to me so um i've got the ingredients here now i am going to change it up a little bit we're not really onion people i do want to get me some um like onion powder i think that might work out and i'm skipping the bell peppers because i know i could um, leave them out when i get my youngest son's but when I went to the store, they were $8 for three in a pack. And I was like, mm, no. And then I don't have the garlic and herb seasoning, which looks really good. But I've got garlic powder, and I'm going to do a little bit of poultry and ground sage. So, um, I've got the diced tomatoes. I don't have them out here. but And then it calls for a cup of chicken stock. I'm going to, I've got stock, but I've got that for Thanksgiving for my dressing. So I'm going to use this reduced sodium chicken broth. I'm sure it will taste um, delicious either way. And then some parsley, some potatoes, and some green beans. So I have a can of green beans, and I've got um, potatoes. I've also So y'all, I'm sorry I didn't um, show all these plated. Honestly, I made these on a week where we had a lot to do and when I come back, we were hungry. So I just served them up and forgot all about taking a picture or a video clip. But as I've said before, they were all delicious and definitely worth trying.
So y'all, this is the potato and broccoli soup. Um, cheesy, really. Cheesy potato and broccoli soup. And it was so good. Um, so filling. So it's just um, unsalted butter with garlic, flour, milk, chicken broth or stock, low sodium, water, salt, pepper, potatoes, broccoli, and cheese. And you could garnish with bacon pieces if you had it. Um, I will have all these recipes linked in the description box below um, if I can find them. I, I know I can a couple of them. Um, and if I can find all of them, I will have them all linked in the description box below. But this was so good. We ate it um, the next day for lunch too. It was just really, um, really per perfect for that cold day when I made it. Let's go outside We can hang out on the beach without freezing Yeah, isn't that amazing? In Christmas times We'll be chilling and having a good, good time So y'all, that's going to be it for today's video. I thank you so much for being here. I hope that you were encouraged by the devotional and maybe got some ideas for some uh, hearty and warm uh, supper options with the, the cold temperatures that we've been having, especially down here. Um, it's been it's been cool. So these were definitely a hit and delicious. So. I hope that y'all have a blessed and fantastic rest of your week. Don't forget, I will have a video out Thursday at 1 Eastern Time, Lord willing. Um, I'm going to take y'all along and show you some Christmas lights and some fun that we've had. So, uh, y'all stay tuned for that. And Lord willing, we will see y'all on the next one. Be blessed. Be blessed.